Will we have scientists making new statements in regards to the Earth's mantle, how these plates are working, and seeing that they've used X-ray technology, new technology, to be able to look down so far in the Earth, and here in the United States, in an area that they thought was stable, in the New Madrid sitting at the heart of that, they're saying that the underbelly of that mantle is getting ripped apart, that huge chunks are falling off, and they're getting peeled away. Now, there's a few things I want to talk about here real quick in this video because I think it all goes together here with that happening underground, especially in an area that may have magma or a large magma chamber, such as underneath a supervolcano like Yellowstone. These are things to watch for. Here recently, they've talked about an uptick in the earthquake swarms at Mount St. Helen. I did a video on that. Yellowstone. There's always been some kind of censorship of all the information going on here, whether it's the earthquakes, the bulging of the earth, uh, the strange lights around this area. I mean, you name it. There's always some kind of excuse as to what is going on here. And we've seen the deception even down to the data. But one thing here connected to this is the Pacific Northwest. We talk about San Andreas. We talk about the possibility of something huge popping off down there all the time, Southern California. Even the recent swarm on the border of Arizona and Nevada near the Hoover Dam, which was interesting. And they're like, oh, there must be some new faults. The same thing you've seen in the movie, you know, becoming active. The Cascadia is due to hit every two to 500 years. It has been over 300 years since the last time the, a big quake has hit this area that caused a tsunami and devastation. Now, they're not showing it here on this map, but the Juan de Fuca cuts right through here. A big jagged cut out here off the coast. They make no mention of that. And that has a lot of stress and a lot of play. It has a lot to do with this plate itself diving. This is where it's diving underneath the plate where it begins to do that. This is the area where all the quakes are emanating from. And you can see it puts in the line of fire a lot of different cities if a tsunami was to come through. Now this is all part of this plan. Cascadia Rising 2016. This drill begins June 7th and goes through the 10th up here in this region. And a big quake up here, no doubt, in the Pacific Northwest would have an effect on Mount St. Helen, other quakes that are close, maybe even potentially Yellowstone. And here's one for you. People don't realize, but there is a super volcano that is smaller than Yellowstone. It's a big volcano. It's in Idaho, in their national park. And they're now saying that it's Past eruptions have been phenomenally larger than they previously ever thought. And it's had different, this is on the Snake River Basin. They're saying that these eruptions actually caused it, and it sits on the outer planks of Yellowstone, and it's hot, hot spot track, as you can see right here. And this is a large area that goes through many different states. A lot of information here. Uh, pertaining to that, I'll leave a link for it. And I also wanted to talk about some of the the talk I'm hearing about Nala and June 13th being the date of, you know, this eruption happening at Yellowstone, like these people know. Try to track it back. It all comes back to, you know, nothing solid that I've seen. If you've got a solid website besides a Facebook post that somebody's put out there like this in an actual site, I'd like to see it. Until then, you guys can read it for yourself. Their warning of the collapse and everything that could happen. And until I see some more valid information, this is up in the air. But I'll leave it in the, in the description box. You guys can check it out for yourself. Make your own decisions on that. And the talk here of the mantle being ripped apart and the Earth's crust and how they're depicting it. All here, but use discernment. I don't buy into their theory. They try to teach everyone in school and how this earth is constructed completely. Nonetheless, they're admitting that this plate, the bottom of it, is peeling off. And that's interesting because 
they could know a lot. They could see a big gap under there. They have to be seeing more than what they're saying. Think about that. Okay, they have to be. But that's where it sits. I'll leave links. Continue to update as I come across more. And remember this cast Cascadia Rising exercise will be going down June 7th through 10th up here in this region. It's been Dabu 7.